Hi there, my name's Pete and welcome to another session of Electronic Assisted Astronomy with an 18 Schmidt Cassegrain Telescope. Tonight we're going to observe some highly energetic objects, supernovae and quasars. We're going to use SharpCap to live stack these objects and show their location using its deep space annotation functionality. We will also be using AstroPanner to locate supernovae and quasars to observe, as well as looking at other sources of information for supernova on the web. Along the way, we will try SharpCap's satellite trail removal, starting off with the default settings and trying to improve on them throughout the session. First up is Supernova 2024JLF. This is a Type II supernova located in the spiral galaxy NGC 5690 in Virgo. It was discovered on the 28th of May 2024. The host galaxy has an estimated distance of 95 million light years. Tonight we are live stacking with a Celestron CPC 800, ZWO ASI 533 mono camera and sharp cap. The settings are 8 second subs and a gain of 100. We're also using a dark and flat calibration frame. I use Astro Planner for all of my planning and observational logging. In fact, you can see here this current plan is what we're using tonight. Let me zoom in. Now we've already entered the supernova into here we want to observe, 2024 KGB for example, and the one we're observing right now, 2024 JLF. What I've done is I've also added in its host galaxy, NGC 5690, and associated them together, which is another great feature of Astro Planner. Now getting the list of current supernova is really straightforward in Astro Planner. We go up to File, we go to Import, and we click on Supernova Data. Astro Planner seems to get its active data from Rochester Academy of Science, and I'm just going to use the cached entry because it's slightly faster. This is a list of all the supernova which I downloaded from the Rochester Academy of Science. Now the one we were after is 2024 uh, JLF with its host galaxy NGC 5690. As you see we've got its discovery date and as we scroll along we have its position, its magnitude and we also have its type and who discovered it. We can then select whichever supernova we want and add them to the plan. It's that simple. Let's move on to the supernova 2024 ISS. This is of type 2A and is located in the galaxy Leda 1846725 in the constellation of Coma Berenices. The Hubble CMB distance is 18.76 megaparsecs or around 61 million light years. I've taken the location of 2024 ISS from Astro Planner using a script that converts its information into SharpCap's Deep Sky Annotation format and places this information onto the clipboard. The script is available via Astro Planner's User Contributed Scripts repository. This allows us to pinpoint the exact location of the supernova in SharpCap. In this case, the supernova far outshines its host galaxy, but it is possible to see the galaxy if I turn on Stellarium's Deep Sky Survey Overlay. Thanks to the scripting interface available in Stellarium, it's also possible to mark the exact location of the supernova as supplied by Astro Planner.
2024 KGB is a Type 1 supernova in the host galaxy IC4566, a spiral galaxy in the constellation of Boötes. It lies at approximately 78 megaparsecs or 254 million light years. We will return to the supernova in a little while, but first I'd like to show how I stumbled across a quasar right next door to our supernova. In order to trip over my quasar, I needed the help of Stellarium, Astro Planner and the Hyperlader catalogue. Stellarium's Deep Sky catalogue holds 94,000 objects, enough to show the major galaxies in the field of view, however not enough to find my quasar. However, Stellarium also has the possibility to download a further 1 million plus objects in its extended Deep Sky catalogue. This adds some more objects to the field of view, but still not enough for me to view the quasar. Astroplanner has access to many catalogues, and one of these is the full Hyperlader catalogue of over 5.3 million objects. With a small bit of scripting, it is possible to display Astroplanner catalogues in Stellarium. This allowed me to spot the quasar relaxing right next door to my main supernova target. We're not finished yet though. Another great feature of Stellarium is to allow sky survey overlays. In this case, Stellarium is using the PanStars survey. This reveals a stellar looking object at the exact position of the quasar. When we put all this data together in Stellarium, the location of the quasar becomes immediately apparent. This tiny spot of light, PGC 34339980, it also goes by other designations, is located at the incredible distance of 8.8 .8 billion light years. It would have gone unnoticed by me, written off as a faint star, but thanks to amazing tools and catalogues, we learnt its true nature, an awesome luminous object powered by a supermassive black hole. It was also interesting to see the sweeping spiral arms of IC4566 become more obvious as the frame stacked, as did the location of 2024 KJB burning brightly on the outer edge of one of these arms. We finish with a view of NGC 6960, one part of the Veil Nebula, a supernova remnant in our own galaxy. If you would like to download the Stellarium Extended Deep Sky Catalogue, then Section 5.5.2 of Stellarium's excellent manual gives you the details, and here is the link to its location on GitHub. The Sharp Cap Remove Satellite Trails feature worked well, and definitely removed those satellite trails. A few satellites got through, and Sigma stacking and dithering seemed to clear these up over time. The final settings were a trail detection of 15, minimum trail length of 100, and trail width of 7. Anyway, thank you for watching.